Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly, and this channel is all about print on demand everything, not only what to do, but how to do it. So if that is something that you're interested in, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over um, with you guys how to create embroidered hats and talking a little bit more about it. So this is an example of what we're gonna be making today. If you are interested in uh, selling print-on-demand hats, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so here I am on Canvas home page, and today we are going to be uh, going over how to make a hat that I would um, make using Canva. I will then use Printful as my third party print company. And then I would typically sell the hat on platforms such as Etsy or through Amazon via Seller Central. I do sell a lot more hats on Seller Central probably than t-shirts because on Seller Central you are competing against Amazon merch on demand. They sell a lot of t-shirts, but they do not sell hats. So Seller Central is a good way to sell other products that aren't currently being offered on Amazon Merch without having to compete with them. So hats are always a really great option there. And so I'm just gonna kind of go through how we would go ahead and design for a hat. So I'm gonna start by hitting custom size. And now the custom size that I'm going to select for my hat is going to be 4,500 by 2,000. And we'll create a new design here. And so this is pretty much the, uh, the area that you have to work with in terms of embroidering on a hat, right? And so today's, we're gonna do something really, you know, pretty simple, doesn't have to be hard. Um, much like t-shirts, hats do tend to sell more in darker colors. So you tend to sell a lot more of the black hats or the navy hats or even some of the camel print hats versus like the lighter color hats. So I'm gonna be designing again for black, so I'll just change my background color there. And now we're gonna go ahead and do something a little bit funny, a little bit different. Um, when you're doing hats, embroidery has to be pretty simple. It can't have a lot of detail. Um, embroidery doesn't get that fine typically. You have to limit yourself to just a few colors. You don't want it to be too busy. So a lot of text only designs work really well or like a single simple silhouette can work really well um, in terms of embroidery for hats. But let's go ahead. I'm going to pull up a text box by hitting T on my keyboard here. We're going to do something a little funny. For this one, we're going to make a hat that says anyone under 70. And so I'm going to go ahead and do this in caps. And I'm going to start by just putting anyone. And that is going to be my top line here. And then one more text box. And this one is going to say under. Uh, 70 and that is going to be my bottom line here so it's going to be something like this so far um, and then we are going to have a couple little lines and under that I'm going to go ahead and put another text box this one is going to say 2024 this is of course referring to you know the 2024 presidential election and so just a nice funny hats. This will start to become more popular next year, so it's always good to get stuff up ahead of time. Um, and so we're starting with something here-ish. Now I do want to pick a font, and we will go with something really simple. So we always go with a nice simple font. It doesn't have to be anything tough. Um, it doesn't have to be super bold because you do want it to be very easy to read. Um, and so I think the font that I had selected for this that was pretty simple was one called uh, Droid, Droid Serif. And I was gonna do that for everything there, Droid Serif. So it just sort of gave it a nice um, politically kind of look to it. So here we go, this is gonna go right across and I'm gonna center this. Oh, it's not wanting to catch my center, there we go my anyone that's going to be here. Now I am going to use a couple of little graphics. So the first one I'm going to use is going to be one that sort of just looks like a simple American flag. And then down here, I'm going to probably have a little line and then a couple of stars. So let's go ahead up to my elements. I'm going to go ahead and put American flag. And we're going to go ahead and go with graphics and see what we got that's going to be really easy. And so there's some cool star graphics. Remember, it has to be very simple. An actual flag would be a little bit too detailed. So I'm looking for something that's a little bit more abstract and super easy. And I know the one I'm looking for, if I can find it. 
Um, let's see, so something like that's a little closer. I'm looking for one that's even simpler than that, though. It had just a single star and a few stripes. Um, so let's see what I can find. This is another one that would work kind of well in terms of being really simple. It's got a couple of stripes and a few stars, but the stars do get kind of small. So even that's a little bit more detailed than I'd like, but something along those lines. So I'll keep looking. Okay, so this is the one that I was looking for here. It's just a single star and it's got some little stripes. And so that's gonna be way simpler and easier in terms of embroidery, because remember for embroidery, this is gonna be small and you're not gonna be able to get a lot of detail. So you do need to keep it pretty simple. So that actually works really well for the embroidery. So, so far so good. I'm again gonna do just a few lines and then I'm gonna do um, some, some stars. So keep it real easy. Let's go ahead and bring a line down here. Let's make it a little bit thicker. And let's go ahead and see if I can lengthen this out so that it's all the way across. So something like that looks pretty cool. I may need to shrink some of this down to get everything to fit the way that I want. And then I can go ahead, hit Control D, make another line. This one I can make a little bit thinner so that I have different weighted lines. Bring that one a little bit closer and over so that it's lined up. And then I'm gonna hit Control D. I'm gonna duplicate that line one more time. I'm gonna move it up above. Again, I'm gonna move it over, down. So I get a little bit of a decoration that way that looks pretty cool. And I may need, again, to move some of these around to give it a little bit more space. But that looks pretty cool in terms of what I wanted. And then I also want to go ahead and use some different colors too. So everything here is just going to be red, white, and blue on a dark background. So it'll look good on a black hat or on a camo hat or on a navy blue hat. And so it's going to be pretty simple. Anyone, I'm gonna go ahead and make a nice blue color. It doesn't matter the shade of blue because you're not picking the shade. You're gonna end up with the shade of blue that they have for the embroidery. So whatever thread color they have, that's blue. Um, so really you just want this shade to match this shade. And that's really all that you need to worry about. Um, actually, I think I was gonna make this one white and the other one blue. So let's make any one white under 70 blue. We'll go ahead and we'll make 2024 red. Um, I'm gonna have a white line, white line, red line is gonna be the middle line. So let's see if I can pick the middle line here. There we go. Zooming in, always easier. And that one, I'm gonna go ahead and make that red color. So here we go, so far so good. Anyone under 70, really simple. Let's go ahead and add just a little bit of a star for each side. Oops, star. And we'll just have a couple white stars at the edge. So something really simple. Let's go ahead and do this. Make the star white. Let's shrink that sucker way down. And maybe a teeny bit bigger. Place it wherever we think would look best. Something there. Control D. Something there. And there's my design. So super easy. That's gonna work really well for embroidery. And then what you could do if you like this design would be to take it and you could repurpose it. It would look really good as like a bumper sticker. And so you could make a sticker out of this. Remember the stickers will tend to have the white backgrounds. So with that in mind, you would go ahead and just change the white here to a different color and then make the background white. And, and that's how you could go ahead and make it as a sticker. But let's go ahead and we'll stick with this for our embroidery. It's funny and it's a hat that I could definitely see people wearing, especially along around collection time. So we'll just go ahead and hit to download, transparent to background, and there we go. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right over to Printful. And I'm gonna go to my um, 
my uh, templates. And I'm going to make a template here for you guys to see. So what we're going to do is create a product template. I'm going to go ahead and select hats. Um, so the hats that we're going to do, usually the dad hats are going to be the simplest to sell the best. You can put this on lots of different hats, by the way, if you're selling on like a seller central um, where you don't have to pay per listing, like on Etsy, you can put up this design on every hat there is. So you can have all the different styles of hats. If you're selling on Etsy, you may want to think about how many listings you put up just because you're paying for each one. But I'm going to go ahead. What I like, this simple dad hat seems to sell the best for me and it's got a nice low uh, price point. So I'm going to select this one here. And we are gonna go ahead and upload what we just made, our anyone file, and hit apply. And so, got it. Here is our anyone under 70 hat. And what you can see is, you know, the reds are the same color, red, white, blue, it's doing teal. Now you can switch that teal, there's one other shade, so I can do a blue and see if that looks any better, the royal blue. It might look a little bit dark, but we'll take a look. Yeah, so the royal blue is gonna look a little bit dark on the dark hat, so you may wanna go with the teal. The teal might make it pop just a little bit more. And so you can play with that. There's really only two shades of blue that you have to work with, but that's gonna you know, show better on a dark color. And so now if you wanted to go ahead and sort of see how this is gonna look, I mean, you can already kind of see it. Let's see. So here we can select the different uh, colors. So under product, I'm gonna go down. I'm offering it on black. I'll offer it on navy. It'll look good there. Um, it'll probably blend in too much with that, but we can definitely do like the camo. I could see people wanting that, a dark gray. That's pretty simple. Maybe a khaki. So it depends how many colors you wanna go with. Ah, I don't really love the khaki. So maybe keep it simple. A black, navy, a dark gray, and a camo colored. And so those are gonna be my options right there. And so that's what I'm looking at in terms of the hat. And so pretty simple for embroidery, but that's gonna actually work out really well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save that to my templates. If you have any questions about how to do this, drop it in the comments section below. But this is really a pretty simple, easy design. And then you've got, you know, hats that again, you could sell on any platform that you want and lots of different ways to go about it. If you have any requests for videos, go ahead and drop that in the comment section below. I do try to get back to those and add it to the list as quickly as I can. I know I got a lot of stuff that I still wanna cover. Um, next week, we will be talking about um, the quarter one niches. So stick around for that, as I know quarter one is fast approaching and you do wanna be ahead of the game in terms of your designing. You wanna always be thinking ahead a month or two. Um, other than that, I hope your quarter four is going well. I hope you guys are making lots of sales. I hope you already have all of your Christmas stuff up or at least the vast majority of your Christmas stuff already up. Um, and I hope you guys are just doing well. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.